Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Heavy Menace pedal by Empress Effects. Heavy Menace. Heavy Menace. The Heavy Menace. I've never tried anything from Empress before, but I have heard great things, so I'm very excited to try this out. This is a sponsored video, by the way, but as with all my videos, all thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. Before I start talking about this pedal and show you guys what it can do and what it's capable of, let's go ahead and take a listen to a demo track that I recorded with this pedal, just so you can hear it in all its glory. Let's check it out right now. Awesome! That sounded great! Nice and filthy! And for that track I used my ESP LTD Phoenix Black Metal, the one with the Seymour Duncan Nazgul pickup in it, and the pedal was used in front of my Orange Rocker 30 tube amplifier on the natural channel, and the amp was being fed into my Red 7 amplification amp central reactive load into the high gain mic mix of the Ownhammer Low Tuned Essentials IR package. Now the heavy menace is an all-analog distortion pedal by Empress with great tweakability. You can basically use it for anything from classic crunch tones all the way up to super heavy and filthy death metal tones. And I like it for the really heavy stuff as you heard in the intro, but it is quite versatile indeed. It's a very responsive pedal that really responds to your playing and to dynamics, and it just feels great to play through. This pedal can basically turn your clean sounding amplifier into a fire breathing metal monster. The first time when I plugged it in and turned it on, it absolutely blew me away. It sounded so big and it felt really chewy and really analog and tube like. So yeah, not only does it sound absolutely huge and great, it also feels really nice to play through, which is a very cool thing for such a small little pedal. But it's not just a distortion pedal, because this pedal also has an adaptive noise gate, which can even be used independently if you so please. Which is super awesome. So you can even use this pedal just as a noise gate, or in combination, or just as a drive without the gate, or with the gate, or whatever you want. The Heavy Menace is basically an evolution of the Heavy Dual Distortion pedal by Empress. It's a similar pedal with a similar sound, but it basically has two independent channels. This one takes that concept, but in a much smaller package and with added functionality. And if we look at the controls, everything is laid out nicely and it's super easy to use. On the top row, we have the gain, weight and output controls. With the weight control, you can tweak the low end response. So this is a very powerful control indeed. 
turn it all the way counterclockwise and it gets very tight sounding and turn it all the way clockwise and it gets very fat and thick sounding. I like it somewhere in the middle. And then the second row is basically the EQ with low, mid and high controls. And below the mid control, we have the mid frequency select knob with a range from 200 Hertz all the way up to 2.5 K. And this control is fully sweepable, unlike the heavy pedal, which only has three settings, I believe. And on the bottom left over here, we have the gate threshold control as well. And as I said, the gate is adaptive, which is very nice. So if you're playing very fast chugs, the release can be very tight. But when you're playing long and sustained notes, it sort of adapts to that and uh, makes the release more gentle. So that's really cool. You can turn the gate on or off with the dedicated foot switch over here. And you can set up the gate in multiple ways. The way I have it set up right now is that the gate only works when the distortion is active. But you can still turn it on or off if you like. But you can also set it up so that the gate is completely independent from the distortion. So you can turn the gate on or off whenever you like, regardless of the distortion settings. So you can also use it independently from the distortion that way. And on the bottom right over here, we have the channel select switch with three modes. All the way to the left, we have the light-ish setting, which is kind of your mid-gain crunch tone. I used that for the middle section of the song in the intro track. And let's take a listen to the isolated guitars of that section just so you can hear how it sounds with just the guitars. Great. Now in the middle, we have the heavy mode, which is great for your standard high gain rock and metal. I used that setting for the first section of the intro song. Let's also take a quick listen to those guitars in isolation. And then on the left side, we have the heavier mode, which of course has more gain. And that mode is just great for crazy death metal and stuff like that. I used this mode for the third section of the intro song. So let's take a quick listen to that as well. Very nice. And by the way, this is a true bypass pedal, but you can also set it to a buffered bypass mode, which is cool. And what's also kind of cool is that you can change the startup setting as well, so that when you boot up the pedal, you can choose how it is engaged or how it is bypassed. They also added a key input so players can trigger the gate by splitting a clean signal from earlier in the chain or from a separate source entirely for creative effects. Pretty nuts how many cool features this little pedal has, right? Oh, and it also looks really cool. I really like how this thing looks. Now let's loop some riffs with my ESP LTD NW44 with the Baron Uncle Aftermath pickup in it in drop C through the exact same setup. And then I'm gonna tweak all the controls so you can hear how they react and how they respond. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs>
Awesome! So that was the Empress Effect Heavy Menace Distortion and Noise Gate pedal. A really cool pedal that is especially great for the really heavy and filthy stuff. But it is really versatile and I had a great time with this pedal. I really like it. I do recommend checking this pedal out at EmpressEffects.com if you're interested. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this pedal. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, by the way. Thank you guys so much and hope to see you soon. Cheers.